Ew, good morning, or evening, or afternoon, or whatever it may be, wherever you may be at. Here is, just picked this up last week, this is the Harley Benton Beat Bass Vintage Series. As you can see, Harley Benton, it mimics the Hofner. Hofner, however you pronounce it. I don't know if the H is silent or it has the two little things. I'm not sure how you pronounce Hofner. But kind of mimics that uh, bass that, uh, I think his name is Paul McCartney. He was in this little band called the Beatles. He made it quite famous because that's what he was playing. And uh, I picked this up from uh, Toman. Uh, like I said, it's a Harley Benton from Toman. Bought it on the USA website. And this was a B-stock. So I picked this up and um, this base here was 133 American dollars. Marked down a little bit. There's a couple blemishes in the finish and the neck. Nothing that affects the playability. It's just finish. And do I really care about that? No. If as long as it plays the same, the electronics are good, it tunes, it stays in tune, and the neck, the neck is straight, that's, that's all I'm really worried about. So I'll show you the back side of this. Really, it's, it's not a bad finish. It's very nice all the way through, vintage. Finish with the sunburst. I did notice one thing though, is as I was pulling the plastic off, I took the plastic off the front, I took it off the pickups, and I saw a plastic tab and I removed it off of the controls. Well, when I did that, I didn't realize the writing was on the plastic. So I'm still kind of going through this and learning the different sounds of it and figuring that out. Let me turn this amp up a little bit more because I wasn't getting much volume out of it. Let me turn that up. Oh, sorry for that. And doing this video because I'm going to be putting these strings on at the Labella, the Deep Talking, the Deep Talking bass series made for this type of a bass. So a great review. So I want to put that on, but these still have the original strings that came from the Toman factory uh, in Germany that it was sent with. So uh, like I said, you could check out the specs on it if you wanted to, but I just want to do a little sound samples. And I have it in the rhythm section. I have, let's see, let's see here. We got both pickups on. So, uh, little sound sample, that's all. Anyway, so that's just wanted to do a real quick sample. That's all. And if I put it now, that's in the solo mo uh, rhythm mode. I put it up in the solo mode. I don't know what happens with the circuitry in here, like I said, but it definitely bumps the signal and gets louder. Sounds pretty good for $133. Not bad. Just gotta wait for it to be shipped from uh, over from uh, Germany, and uh, besides that, pretty good. It is a hollow body. Uh, that's the one nice thing. So when I put it on this back pickup, it definitely has that distinct, you know, that that distinct beetle sound. So. definitely has that bite to it definitely has the sound that you want for beetles not I don't play much beetles I'm more interested you know in and in, in still the rock stuff but mainly reggae so that's why I want to put these flat wounds on here so hey next time I check in the flats will be on it and uh, hopefully it's going to sound pretty sweet but 133 dollars it's, you know, it's comparable. I actually think this is much better quality than the uh, Rogue or some of the less expensive ones in this price range. I'm always impressed with Harley Benton and what they're putting out. So anyway, once again, Harley Benton Beat Bass. It's the vintage series. 
uh, I think, and I, so I got this for 133. I want to say they're like 160, so you're still right around that 200 price point with shipping and everything. So great little base, sounds awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm digging it. So all right, take care. I will. Uh, I'll see you later, and there should be some flats on it. Take care. Peace. Be good.